Let me come to Steve and then we'll come back to you. And that is, you guys talk about the big lie, that people start off with these expectations and it doesn't work out. And actually, when we say it's just, it happened, you're going the direction that you think is right and you're doing stuff that you feel is natural and you have good intentions, but you're missing something. There's a big lie right. in there somewhere. Well, you know, I was uh, born the same year that Playboy was born, in 1953. And I would have to say, and of course you, you've had the, all, all the folks from Playboy on your program, I'd have to say that uh, Hugh Hefner has done a great job in getting his philosophy that a little bit of pornography will really help you be a better man, that it's just something that you want in your life. And back in the 70s, when all of this uh, kind of started coming to the surface, there were some anti-porn uh, activists, some women, who said, look, if we don't stop this, uh, men are going to be so stimulated by all this that women will not be safe in their homes, that the rape rate will go up and uh, men will just be demanding sex all the time if we don't get these images out of our culture. Well, that was before the Internet. And now we see the proliferation of all of these pornographic and sexually stimulating images. And the rate of rape hasn't gone up. Uh, sex and marriage has gone down rather than up. Because Hugh Hefner, who taught us as young men that, hey, this is just something you ought to do. Even if you're a Christian, you ought to do it. He, he lied. It doesn't make you more of a man. It takes your manhood away. You, you can't function as well with a real live woman uh, if you're into pornography. And one of the reasons that I wanted to be part of this book, you know, when I saw the manuscript that Fred had mm -hmm. developed and had an opportunity to be a part of this, I mean, you've heard his story, but the reason I wanted to be a part of it is that Fred had done something that nobody else had done. He had actually put together something that brought hope, and that was he made sense of it all, took his life, shared it, and at the end developed a way that every person could have victory if they would do some very simple things. And, and over and over again, we've had, I would have to say, hundreds of thousands of emails. The men and young men have said, you have done something that nobody else has done. I can have victory because of, and I'm sure we'll talk about it later, sure. because of what you told us to do. So there was not just a, a statistical verification of the problem. There was a great way to handle it, a great way to deal with it and have victory over it. And so it's exciting to see these guys use the material and not struggle anymore. Yeah.